Hi, Marcus Jarakos. Um, I'm a studio guitarist based here in LA. I do a lot of film and television work here. Uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between a plastic pick and a wood pick. Now, I got to be honest. I don't own a wood pick. I don't know anybody who owns a wood pick. Uh, but I could tell you, theoretically, the difference would be uh, a plastic pick has a bit of pliability. So it has a little bit of give to it, which I think smooths out your sound. Right. You'll notice if I'm just pl uh, playing some notes on the E string, it doesn't really have a lot of attack on it. You could give it attack if you wanted to. But that comes from just how hard you're, uh, or how, how much speed you're moving to the, the string with. Uh, if you're using a, a wood pick, wouldn't give you any give at all, wouldn't give any flexibility. So. It wouldn't have the same uh, effect as far as smoothing out the attack. Right? It would automatically give you a hard attack every single time. Right? The reason why I and virtually everybody else I know uses uh, a plastic pick um, is so that you minimize the amount of extraneous noise, the amount of attack. You can control the amount of attack. You're not just given just given attack uh, no matter what uh, what string you're playing or how hard you're playing. So, right. ideally what you want is you want control as a guitarist. You want control over how much attack you have. And you want to choose a pick made out of material that gives you that kind of control, where you can minimize the attack if you want to. In fact, some people, Pat Metheny is one of them, uh, choose to use the rounded edge of the pick to soften the attack even more than it might be you know, otherwise. Uh, but whether you're using the point or the rounded edge, uh, a plastic pick gives you the option to uh, vary your level of attack. Uh, I'm Marcus Jarakos, and our subject has been uh, the difference between a wood pick and a plastic pick.